Hi everybody, it's me. <laughs> so yes, I know sometimes I'm confusing. I'm trying. I'm on the way there, doing really well. And I know I've been showing a lot of where to get things for less money, but not necessarily maybe helping people out with budget ideas. Mostly because I'm only now really figuring out how to like budget budget. So I'm sitting on my couch, there's things behind me, there's a point to all this. I was always, you know, getting help from, and that's a whole other story. But now, for about some months now, I'm up to my own, you know. If I don't budget things correctly, I don't have a safety net. And that's great. I, I really needed that and I'm doing really well. And I'm proud of myself. So those little things that I learned the hard way, I'm sharing with you because I think that is more the point than how to get something for cheap, right? Not everybody needs makeup, but everybody needs food. So the first thing is don't budget in a kind of refund that you're supposed to be getting. Now I get a lot of things refunded from, you know, buying on the internet. They don't get here on time, you know, or all sorts of other things. Sometimes you get refunds. I mean, I got this in the mail today. All right. So if they're non-essentials, they're just jewels. I did my nails yesterday. That's what I did for fun. All my nail stuff, it all comes from AliExpress. So it takes like two to three months to get here. But I pay like, you know, fraction of the cost. This was $2 for all of these glitters. And I actually got an extra wax stick. So to put these jewels on, there's a trick, you know. You can buy expensive things or you can just have these little wax crayons that you just sharpen. I'm going to go with that because it came with it for free. And I had one for free with another one and I use that. So yes, <clears throat> some things come in the mail and when they're late, you know, or something's broken, you get promised a refund. Refunds don't always come back into your account as fast or when you want them to. It all depends on different things and that is something, again, that I had to learn the hard way. Um, and it sucked at the time. Thankfully, I, I it fell that I ended up being okay, but <clears throat> don't count on them. So I didn't, I was, you know, I had a big refund. I mean, 40 bucks for me is a big deal. Okay. From Glambot, from the whole Kat Von D makeup that was broken and all that whatnot. I didn't budget that into anything. I learned my lesson because last time that I was, you know, supposed to be getting a refund, which was from Elf Cosmetics, which is why we don't get along. But if you don't have an actual credit card, which I don't, I just have a Visa debit card, which buys me things online. But it doesn't have the same criteria and safety net as an actual credit card. So when they give you refunds or, you know, there's a pending transaction, let's say you, you buy something and then there's something wrong with it and you want to cancel and get it back, which was the case when I had the first gift card from Elf Cosmetics and they don't have customer service on the weekend. It didn't go through. My account got charged like 40 something dollars. I was counting on that refund to come back. I had budgeted that money back. The thing is, is because I have a Visa debit card, it took like two to three weeks before I actually got the money back. And that's not Elf's fault. It's not anybody's fault. It was mine for not knowing how it works. I learned the hard way. If you have an actual credit card, you know, it may take a day or two to come back, but with the Visa debit, they have to have a hold and it's just a whole different system because it's not an actual credit card. So I learned around that. So I started to not, you know, the refunds that I may or may not get, I think of them that way. I may or may not get them. And when I do, it's free money. <laughs> yes, because I don't have it budgeted anywhere. That's how I look at it. Because if I do buy anything online, it's most usually things like this that I don't need right now and that I can wait for. So they're my extras. And exactly, I pay a fraction of what they would be in stores. And some of them are name brand, like my nail stuff. Some of it is Born Pretty. The straight off Born Pretty has a store in AliExpress. I will link them below. 
it's their stuff their glitter is amazing this is one coat of their glitter polish you can even see it I don't think you can the light all right I know I'm boring some of you <laughs> I'm boring some of you here with um makeup and stuff we're not talking about that talking about not budgeting with refunds I learned that the hard way and today again it paid off so this month at work there's three paychecks that fall into the same month oh, welfare you know social development I have to start referring to my social development disability money as welfare because it confuses people which is why I'm going to redo the original video where I talk about my whole journey and how difficult it is to navigate the system I've learned a lot since then so I have different input but I'm going to redo it mostly because if you go back and look at it I've shrunken like a lot and I'm really happy and yes I do eat for those of you who ask I do I eat very well but it costs money so I do have to go to my job and I feel so much better now that we have figured it out so my whole weight loss was because I had to have a diet change I have a condition in my esophagus that I have a hard time saying let's try it esophagic esophagitis there you go that'd be linked below too and I've had it for years now if anybody notices me I always have a hard time swallowing and that will always be there so what my condition is and I may or may not have it in the rest of my digestive tract but this doesn't matter now anyway it's an abundance of white blood cells in my esophagus and when I would eat foods that would trigger it it's like an allergy and they would just multiply and that would cause so many problems that I would throw up all the time because things just would get stuck it wouldn't go down it was just I'm so used to having like the scope with like don't even don't give me no meds I'll just do it like I'm I'm cool and um, yeah they they kind of laugh and like no we're gonna give you a little bit and I'm kind of like you know sweetheart your two milligrams of Ativan ain't gonna do nothing on the like everyday anxiety meds I take already however I'm now way better so since January you know everything happened in November when they realized my kidneys were not doing well my liver wasn't doing well all that kind of stuff and then my gastroenterologist I said it right he got into it and he is one of the best and he really looked into things and he was like you know what we, we can't keep going in there and, and emergency things you need to change diet and at this point I was willing to pretty much do anything why because I felt I didn't realize how bad I felt until now I feel better actually so we had to start with the elimination diet and then the point is that you're supposed to try to add things as you go along I don't even want to add anything I, I like what I'm doing because when I'm done all this I'm gonna go make myself a really big pot of spaghetti sauce which is another way to save money you know make a huge pot and freeze portions right so <clears throat> yes I'm coming back to my point I'm trying to everything here and I am unscripted right now doing the best that I can so when it comes to food I do eat and I eat well however I don't eat any dairy I don't eat any eggs I don't eat gluten a little bit I can have a little bit depending on what it is it won't bother me if I have like a little bit every once in a while because that's what the white blood cells would build up right so if I only have it once in a while and a little bit uh, they'll, uh, they'll go away so I pay attention but that's not my biggest trigger I also have no soy and no preservatives no preservatives is the biggest thing and people think that it's really hard to eat with no preservatives and actually it it's I thought it was going to be too as well actually it's it's not um 
I happen to love tomatoes and spaghetti. I mean, anybody who knows me knows spaghetti is like my life. <laughs> it actually was my hotmail address <laughs> for a very long time. Um, um, it still kind of is just misspelled. No point. So, yeah, I'm going to go do some spaghetti sauce. But you can make everything preservative free. Mostly anything with canned tomatoes. Tomatoes are acidic enough that they don't need anything to preserve them. Anything pickled doesn't have any preservatives either. So it's really not that hard if you really look and try. But until you go and try, you know, it, it looks expensive and it looks hard because a lot of things are marketed, you know, no gluten, no soy, no GMO, no whatever. But if you go into the aisles of the actual product without the big organic, all those labels on it, that's like three or four bucks less money. They're the exact same thing. They are preservative free, gluten free, whatever, naturally. These companies are just putting those logos on there to make more money. I, I, I'm thankful that I, I had Megan back when I first started. She helped me a lot with that. So, yay. I think I'm forgetting something about my diet in there, but whatever. And I also don't eat red meat. I stopped that a while back. And I just felt better. I didn't know why. However, we did find out um, around November and, and January when the results of the ultrasound that I had, had done about a year and a half prior that nobody had ever given me the results for, told me why um, not eating red meat made me feel better. Because I have a lot of gallstones. My gallbladder doesn't work very well. So, but it's gonna stay in me. It's gonna be part of my body until it hurts. <laughs> That's what they said to me. When it starts hurting, we'll take it out. Until then, you're fine. So let's just hope it never starts hurting because I've heard that it's pretty painful. All right, so how did my money work today? It worked pretty good, again. I did up my budget. So I did a stock up grocery on the last pay, pantry stuff. I'll add that in here, even though I already have it in the end of another one. But we'll put it in here as well, because it's relevant. So it's gonna go in right now. So I did tell you that I was doing a stock up grocery. So this is pantry stuff. Vegetable broth, everything's on sale. Stock up for the winter. This is gluten free pasta that I eat. I like it. It's my brand I usually go to. It happens to be on sale three for four ninety eight instead of two ninety nine each, which is great. So pasta for a while. So I'm lucky to have a storage room and a deep freeze. My roommate that I had before, he said I could keep it. Thankfully. So the chicken nuggets are on sale. Bunch of fries, some fruit. The meat and all that stuff will come from Costco next paycheck. And that's just my extra meals that are frozen. So now you know all the stuff that I get to buy in cans and pantry. But I have another list. You can't see too much. This is the things that my sister's going to help me out with. Because we're going to go to Costco. Some things are cheaper there. Sometimes they're not. But sometimes they are. And the things that is. Well, that was bad. The things that are. Meat is usually cheaper there. Mostly when it comes to pork hamburg. I said it right. No, I didn't. Whatever. Pork hamburger. That's what I call it. All right? Ground pork. There you go. It's way cheaper at Costco. You can get a big pack for like 20 bucks. And in stores, it's, you know, individuals for like seven or eight. That's definitely better there. Portion it out. Freeze it. I do that all the time. So that's part of my second sock up that I'm doing with my sister. So I priced all this off with the money that I have with whatnot. But I never factored in this $40 refund that I was getting. I mean, I knew it was going to happen at some point in time. 
But again, last time that I had a big $40 credit waiting for, it took me three weeks to get it. And I have decided to, you know, no longer count on that, which was great. So I can get all my stock of grocery, everything I need, which means during the not busy season at work where I might not have enough hours because that's just how it works. I mean, we do shut down for two weeks at Christmas. Um, you know, if there's not as much money coming in, that's okay. I will have things frozen. I'll have things there. I'll have things stocked up. All I need to buy is like milk and a few things that, you know, fresh veggies, which some of them you can also freeze as well. So that's just that thought behind that. So I did that whole budget up. Never put that extra money in. So today, you know, I was out because Sean helps me with things. And I have to say, Sean, thank you so much. He is amazing as the person, you know, I'm not gonna call him, what do we call him, wait. Personal shopping assistant. Yeah, I think he's my personal shopping assistant. So he understands and I mean, I've had people from companies and the first two, obviously they were amazing, they helped me out. But when you tend to be amazing in your job, you tend to move up and they have now you know, moved on to, you know, no longer just being a support worker. Great for them. I'm happy. They're, but they helped me so much. So Jessica, Megan, if you happen to be watching this, thank you both of you. You've helped me get here. And then after that, I had a few other ones. And my whole thing about personal support workers is a whole other story. But Sean, I mean, he's a friend, but he's very understanding. If he wants to look at something over there, that's fine. That he'll tell me. Are you going to be okay if I go over there? Like, do you mind? And just that is just so awesome. And the fact that, you know, we're both very open and we're both, you know, LGBTQ, whatever. I don't have to worry about, you know, insulting when I talk about the fact that, you know, my best friend is going to be marrying her wife. Because that was the problem that one of the other personal support workers had. Anyway. So I don't have to worry about any of those things. Plus, he's like the best person to help you shop for clothes because that's what happened today. So I was looking around because today I didn't think I had any money. So it was my practice day. You know, let's just go look in stores, get some, you know, ideas in mind of what, you know, things cost for later. And I may have found a dinosaur costume for my little nephew. Maybe, I don't know if my sister going to get it or not but it's cute and you know we stopped at giant tiger i don't usually think about giant tiger but these are things that sean knows thanks sean and when we looked in there i accidentally you know i don't know why but i looked into my bank account and i was like oh, my money came in <laughs> which was great because the clothes i'm looking for were on sale so yes i got this stuff all right so i got two shirts they were on sale and yes he makes a very great personal assistant shopper guy i mean he's got great taste clothes and i've lost a lot of weight so i need more clothes now these are on clearance and i do want a couple pairs of leggings for winter like the thicker ones and i mean we looked i thought our dean would be cheaper no people go to giant tiger giant tiger is the place to go plus Everything's kind of made like bigger, well not bigger, they're just actual size. An extra large is an actual extra large. In the rest of the world, an extra large is like a medium, you know, whatever. So, and they also have things that are longer because if you want to get over this bump that I have there and that ain't going to go away, um, you know, not my point. My point is that don't budget in your refunds because you don't know if they're even going to come in. I got promised money back on eBay. $50 American. I never got it and it's never coming either. But that's a whole other story for another day. However, I didn't plan on having this. So it was free money. It was pretty much do what you want today. So I did get a couple things. 
because Halloween is coming. Halloween is my Christmas. I've never liked Christmas in my life. And now knowing that there's, you know, like high functioning autism and whatnot, it probably explains why. Christmas is just shoved down your throat for four months. I'm excited for like three days when, you know, I start decorating for Christmas and then I'm like, I've had enough. This is a thing to save money. I bought this thing. Now, she's going to be like this big. Last year, on my birthday, which is November 2nd, which is the second day of the dead thing, which is pretty neat. Um, but yeah, it's uh, the day after Halloween, everything goes on sale. I bought it then. Now, I'm sure the batteries in it have died since then. Just fine. Plenty other ones. Put them in there. And, um, yeah. I'm going to try to scare this stupid kid down the street. Maybe they'll stop bugging us. I don't know. But I just like creepy weird stuff. So, I bought this when it was on sale. It was like 40 bucks new. And I think I didn't pay it. I don't know. I don't even remember how much. But I think it was like 5 bucks. Because that's usually my limit for something. So, on top of all of that, I buy decorations that you can reuse. And I just keep them. And I use the same ones every year. And then I just keep adding to my collection. 